Okay, so I've been looking at the salvage we've collected, and I've been looking at what we could possibly build for Thomas the Thorax. And we've got all of the materials that we need to build a whole bunch of medium hybrid gun rigs, uh, including things like the burst aerator, which would increase our damage, or the ambit extension, which would increase our range. The problem is we don't have enough power grid for any of them. Likewise, we have these 250 millimeter carbide rail guns, which would dramatically increase both our damage and our range, but we don't have the power grid to fit them either over our 200 millimeter Tech 1 rail guns. I'd really like to get Thomas fit up with a proper fit, and these Tech 1 modules are really getting in our way. And what I've realized is it's really this large shield extender one that's holding us back. If we could get a uh, compact shield extender or even a restrained shield extender, we would have so many more fitting options. And in fact, we probably don't want to be putting uh, damage mods in the rigs at least, because we've got these three mag stabilizers and eventually the stacking penalty is going to add up and the rigs won't be adding that much more. What we would love to do would be to put some shield rigs in to increase our tank and then maybe run the 250 millimeter railguns. So although this is a little side questy, I really want to get my hands on some meta shield mods and some shield salvage. So I've decided what we're going to do is we're going to take Armella on an adventure to Kaldari Losa. This is Bill. Bill wants to build a Cinnaball and join the Angel Cartel cause in Zarzak but he's not making it easy on himself. We're gonna fight Garistas. They're gonna drop shield mods for us. We're gonna bring Angelus uh, salvagers with us. We're gonna shoot and we're gonna salvage and we're gonna take those Garistas for all of their shield loot. And Thomas is gonna be all the better for it. And we warp away from a Triglavian gate camp. I feel like the answer must be yes. And a catalyst? The answer must be yes. Oh, there's not even any Triglavians here. We're fine. At some point we may need to go to Pochvin and figure out how to get our Triglavian standings up to literally zero instead of notionally zero. To do that, however, we're going to need to find wormholes, which is probably going to require that we build a scan probe launcher and scan probes. Well, here we are in Kaldari Losek. I was thinking of popping over to Prism, which is a 0 0.2 system. We've got Ecoskio all to ourselves. Let's check out the belts that are here. Baristas, Executioner, two battlecruisers at our first belt. Now, Garistas are the Kaldari space default rats. They use shields for their tank, and they use missiles primarily for their weapon system, although I think they also use hybrid sometimes. We're still going to get in close and orbit 500 as we have been before, because we're still using blasters. The one tricky thing to killing Garistas is that because they use missiles, we can't out-track them. They're going to hit us regardless, uh, and they don't hit any they don't hit any worse at close range than they do at long range. However, we can outspeed them somewhat. The amount of damage they do will be lessened the faster we're going. And because we are smaller, that will also reduce the damage the missiles do. So we are going to have to rely on our armor repper in these fights probably more than we would back in Serpentis space. But it looks like we're still going to be fine. Those auto Thysian Lancers, we have to be careful not to shoot them. Those are basically just new player traps. 
to Nathazian Lancer, and it will insta blap you. Yeah, but if you don't bother them, they won't bother you. Now, the Gristas are also weak to uh, Kinetic, I believe. Uh, Blasters are also good against them. Blasters do Kinetic and Thermal, which makes them strong against Serpentis and also strong against Gristas. This is going reasonably well. Against battleships, we should actually have an easier time because they'll be using the large-sized missiles, which will hit, a, hit our smaller ship even worse than the medium-sized missiles that these battlecruiser Gristas are using. The fact that that went well is a very good sign for us because a multiple battlecruiser spawn is actually probably the one we're going to have the most difficulty with. Oh, see, now this is great. We're probably not going to use this coprocessor, but already I'm feeling good about this adventure because these are kinds of loot mod like these are modules in loot that we've not seen before. This is opening up entirely new possibilities for us. Now all we need is a compact shield extension. <laughs> That's why we're here. Once we kill some battleships, we'll also start salvaging. Uh, I don't think I want to fly with salvagers instead of guns, like six guns, two salvagers. That seems a little bit too much for me. But if we clear these five belts and uh, kill some battleships, then we will dock up shield flux coil. Okay, shield mods. Shield mods, that's what we're looking for. Then we'll dock up, we'll refit to the salvagers, and we'll come back and salvage everything. Although I do notice that Okoskyo does not have a station. So we may hold off on the salvaging until we do get over to Prism. Also, because Thomas, despite being a cruiser, is fitting a large shield extender, we are going to have to be looking in battleship wrecks if we want to find the meta, the meta shield extender that's going to work for us. One nice thing about missiles, though, is that because we reduce the damage that we're taking from them just by going fast. Uh, there's not no tracking involved at all. We can burn straight at these guys for the approach without it increasing the amount of damage we take. If we burn straight at a turret ship, of course, we take a ton of damage. We have to spiral, but spiraling isn't really a thing against missiles. Now, here we go. Carissa's Eradicator. 500,000, which means that it should be a lower tier battleship, but this will be our first real test against the Grista's NPCs. I'm pretty sure that we're going to pass. One nice thing about this system is that I noticed the bounty risk modifier is 200%. So we won't get 500,000 for killing this Grista's Eradicator. We'll get a cool million. And we're taking basically no damage from this battleship. I noticed that he has a mix of railguns and, uh, and missiles, though. Look at that ship, too. Is it a rattlesnake? Pretty cool ship model. see what the Grista's Eradicator has for us. Our first large Grista's Wreck. This is our chance. Large, compact, FS9 shield extender. Okay. Extra large shield booster. We won't be using that, but that's interesting. And another cap recharger. I'm liking these. I'm liking the uh, varieties of modules we're getting here. Definitely. This is adding so much flexibility to our fitting, if we can get these modules back home. Not just for Thomas, but for Carmela, for other ships we might use as well. This is good news, people. Good news. Oh, and there's ice here. That's interesting. We still need Kaldari Ice. 
Although I don't think we want to bring Thomas through that Triglavian system. Feels so exciting to be in a new area of space. Every one of these systems is new to us. New enemies, new modules. Oh my goodness, Rista's clone soldier. Alright, let's try it. This might be a problem for us. We won't be able to mitigate all of his damage the way we do against Serpentis for the same reasons related to Mythyl. Unless we get lucky, that's a MOA ship model. He might be fit with railguns. Nope, that's missiles. Oh, that's a big hit. That's a big hit. I think we're not going to make this work. Oh no, and we're webbed. We need to get out of here. Yikes. Yikes. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, Carmella. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Well, lesson learned. 0 0.2 space... Garista's clone soldiers are off the menu. Ooh, that web. I knew, I knew the 0 0.2 clone soldiers had webs. I was not thinking about how much that was going to increase the damage output. We got wrecked. Triple Navy. Cormorant Navy. Cormorant Navy seems like it might be following us. Dire Garistas. Those aren't the faction guys. Those are just the... Yeah, the elite guys. With the... Let's get with the warp disruptors. And the ECM. Okay. Can we kill these guys? Dread Garistas, that's the name of the faction guys. So, Pericle Navy is on D scan again, and we are tackled. That's actually a pretty bad combination. And we're shooting the guy who's webbing us, not scramming us. Hopefully, we can kill this guy with the warp disruptor before the Pericle Navy can land and lock us. If he's coming for us, hopefully, he's not. Is he on short scan? So I really want to loot these guys. He is on short scan. I'm going to loot this guy. What is that critical Navy issue doing? Is he looking for me or is he not? He's in these belts. Is he ratting himself or is he hunting me? Leave. Leave. Yep, yeah, there he is. low on the warp out there. Wave and local. We'll scoot to a system next door. See if we can find somewhere a little bit quieter than Prism currently is. Hmm. We're in the vicinity of Tama. My main used to live in Tama for many, many years. It is a PvP hub. It's diminished somewhat in recent years. But, still a violent place. I think maybe we'll go in the other direction. Let's just pop over next door to Alinala and see what it's like over there. ECM. <laughs> ECM is not my favorite development. I much prefer to be uh, sensor disrupted.
by Serpentis Rat, then jammed by Garista's Rats. That's doing a fair bit of damage to me. Oh, he's using railguns. Okay, we should be spiraling. There we go. Now we're only taking damage from his missiles, which are the much smaller bit of part of his DPS, it seems. A little bit tricky that these guys are like some of them are hybrid and some of them are missiles. You have to be actually watching what they're doing to you. If you're trying to av avoid the damage, you have to be watching what they're actually shooting and changing how you fly to match. But we're clever, we can do it. A lot of shield stuff. Okay. Medium shield extender. Oh, and our first 200 millimeter meta gun. Okay, medium shield extender is good, but we need large. That's a very good sign. We've picked up the, we've picked up the trail of our quarry. Also, 200 millimeter compressed quail gun. I am excited about that. Look at all this great stuff. It really matters when we are so dependent on loot drops to fit our ship. It really matters that we be shooting the right NPCs at the right time. Another 200 millimeter. Oh man, we're picking up the 200 millimeter railguns. And this is the same kind of battleship that was uh, jamming me before. Oh, they both are jamming me now. I hate that. Don't like that at all. Okay, the cruiser's coming in closer. We are going to go for him first. I'll go down faster. The last thing I want to do is be almost done killing the uh, battleship and then get jammed by the cruiser. The battleship's jammed me. I'm going to try and just kill this guy through jams. Blaster's taking him down fast. Good. Now with one enemy, we're basically immune to jams. And do the refuge just for fun. Our first Garista's combat site. Respawned in system. All right, we can do it. We can do that again. Assembly, might as well do that too. And back to the belts. goodness there it is large azeotropic restrained shield extender thomas is going to be so happy the loot tables in this game are so huge and convoluted i thought that i might have been crazy setting out flying halfway across losec just to try and kill some specific enemies with the hopes that one of them would drop this large meta shield extender 
and it absolutely worked. What a coup. And we've picked up all of these uh, meta medium railguns on the way as well, as well as a whole bunch of other shield mods and some other things that might be quite useful. Now we just got to get all this back to Minar. Thanks for watching. I know this was a shorter episode, but I'm experimenting with varying the lengths in pursuit of more frequent updates. So please do let me know if you feel that there's a sweet spot. I'll see you again very soon.